Welcome to Zeno's Analysis. I am Colonel Ichabod Rhombus, and today we will be studying the zoanthrope. The zoanthrope has seen several changes since they appeared in our galaxy after they were first encountered on the planet of Moloch. Their first bioforms were bipedal, with powerful limbs and massive curved talons, and a head that had an almost tick-like appearance. The hive mind then went to work modifying their creation to better suit the needs of battle in our galaxy, and so their mighty limbs were shed, and they were bequeathed the power of flight. The bioform was stripped down to its barest essentials, a huge chitin-armored cranial orb with some token claws and a long prehensile tail. The whole of its anatomy serves but one purpose, to carry and fuel the massive cerebral cortex through which the psychic powers of the Hive Fleet are unleashed. And then thanks to the deluded machinations of Inquisitor Fidus Kripman, we saw the birth of the Octarius Conflict, where the abominations of High Fleet Leviathan were herded into the massed orc armies there, with the benighted intention that they would destroy each other in an endless war of attrition. But now the Tyranids have largely been victorious in the conflict, and this has been an appalling outcome, because the endless brutal conflict against the orcs have given the grotesque intellects of the hive mind an unparalleled opportunity to explore, experiment, and now develop new and terrible abilities. These enhancements have not just affected Leviathan, but all of the Hive Fleets. So, in seeking to destroy the threat posed by Hive Fleet Leviathan, instead, virtually every organism through the entire Tyranid race has been exponentially enhanced, whether it is Leviathan, the monstrous behemoth, the sly kraken, the toxic gorgon, and the subterranean threat of Yomunganda, or the range threat of Kronos, the swarms of Hydra, or any of the splinter fleets currently rampaging in our galaxy. We should hope that the Inquisition will hold Kripman accountable for the jeopardy he has placed us all in, and that he will be enjoying a visit from the Officio Assassinorium for his sterling contribution to the Tyranid's might. We will cover these enhancements as we address future bioforms, but for the Zoanthrope, the conflict has seen them emerge faster, stronger, and more durable. During the Octarius conflict, we saw High Fleet Leviathan first develop synaptic links, where certain synapse creatures could channel a specific power through overlapping fields of influence across the fleet, and bestow a variety of new and devastating abilities to the bioforms. The zoanthrope was discovered to be channeling a psychic magnification of a synapse creature's powers. While the zoanthrope fed the recipient this new synaptic link, it could far more easily call upon and manifest its powers and make them considerably more vexing to erase. As the Tyranids emerge from Octarius and the knowledge the Hive Mind has acquired is broadcast to the rest of the Hive Fleets, these synaptic links have been discarded and a new synaptic imperative has been implemented. Rather than the creatures of High Fleet Leviathan bestowing enhancements to a single group or individual, every High Fleet can now blanket an entire swarm with these abilities. The Zoanthrope achieved this through manipulation of their innate warp field. Zoanthropes weave the very essence of the warp around them in the manner of a void shield, and so they are protected by a field that makes them invulnerable to all but the most grievous abuse. As they emerge from Octarius, this inherent power has diminished somewhat in strength, but it has done so to the great benefit of the entire swarm. While the zoanthrope warp field has degraded a small degree, it can now broadcast that power throughout the entire horde, bequeathing every single creature near to the Synapse beasts that power, 
and for the largest and most nightmarish fiends of the swarm, that power is considerably more potent. This aura is only active for a short time, but it grants the swarm a vital defense as they thunder across the battlefield and into the close quarter combat, for which the Tyranid is horrendously efficient. This zoanthrope exudes the debilitating aura known as the Shadow in Warp, disrupting the ability of other psychers to manifest their powers. They also act as those synaptic linchpins that strengthen the intent of the hive mind, rendering the lesser life forms immune to fear and to stand to the very last against any onslaught. Previously, when zoanthropes clustered together, their ability to cause grievous psychic trauma was exponentially increased in both range and power. This facet to their abilities has been horrendously accentuated at the expense of range. In numbers, their propensity for psychic violence is greatly improved, but also now, in numbers, their psychic abilities are bloated by orders of magnitude, meaning that whatever fell power the zoanthropes seek to manifest, it is almost assured to be and will be incredibly difficult for adversarial psychers to overwhelm and dissolve. We will be addressing the pool of psychic powers that the Tyranid psychers draw from, and those specific to the individual hive fleets, in future lectures. However, several have apparently been discarded by the hive mind. The zoanthrope used to be able to transfix a target rendering them immobile with a hypnotic gaze that, while unbroken, left the target helpless. A most unfortunate state to find oneself in as the tyrannid horde roils around you. The creatures also used to be able to rip life force from targets, leeching their essence in order to repair trauma sustained to its biological form. This ability continues to endure in the neurothrope, which feeds from the most terrible injuries sustained in its presence and can heal both itself and any zoanthrope in proximity to it. The Warp Blast was a devastating strike of warp energy affecting a significant area, while the Warp Lance concentrated this energy into a single beam, ideal for tearing into vehicles and other hardened targets. Roughly three and a half meters tall, weighing around half ton, the massive psychic output of the zoanthrope, their enhanced abilities in numbers, and the protective warp field they generate make the zoanthrope another of the more lethal weapons in the arsenal of the grotesque tyrannid race. Only through loyalty, fidelity, and courage can we hope to prevail against these psychic terrors. Praise be to the god emperor! Beloved by all.